What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Welcome to part two of my miscellaneous DVD collection. Got a lot of stuff to show you guys, so we'll just hop right into it here. Um, how many piles do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six different piles of movies to show you guys. So without further ado, we'll get started. First up is going to be my SNL DVD collection. You see these ones a whole lot. But these are, this is basically my collection of all of them. So, first one we got up here is the Saturday Night Live 25th uh, anniversary, I guess you could say. 25th anniversary special. This is the 25 Years of Laughs DVD. It's a pretty nice DVD. It's from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. I think actually all of them are from Lionsgate. But this is basically just their 25th anniversary. So this would have been from 2000. Or this, yeah, this would have been from 2000. You have a lot of different people on here as well. Dan Aykroyd, Dana Carvey, Chevy Chase, Billy Crystal, Chris Farley, Phil Hartman, John Lovitz, Steve Martin, Eddie Murphy, Bill Murray. So, you know, all the classic people there. And, yeah, just really nice DVD. I like how they put these little SNL compilations out. Because the season sets are pretty hard to find, generally. But, yeah. So that is the 25th anniversary or 25 years of laughs. And now we'll hop right into the compilation DVDs, which are basically all of the different actors here. So first three, actually, we have Will Ferrell, Volume 1, Will Ferrell, Volume... And there goes number one. We got Will Ferrell, Volume 1, 2, and 3. As you can tell, 3 is a little bit newer, but we'll take a look at... Number one first, because this one seems to be pretty, doesn't want to sit on there. But yeah, they're just little short compilation DVDs about all their best skits and everything. Like, of course, Celebrity Jeopardy on there. And you get a little bit of extra features as well. Audition, photo gallery, dress rehearsal, outtakes, and TV appearances. But that's basically what it looks like inside. So that's Volume 1. And then we have Volume 2 here. So just a little bit more sketches here. This one is 79 minutes, and you just get photo gallery, dress rehearsal, and TV appearances. And yeah, that's basically what it looks like inside. And then finally, we have volume three here. So this is basically just the best of. So of course, you get Celebrity Jeopardy on there as well. Um, as well as you get the Inside the Actor's Studio, NBA on TNT, Family Dinner, um, The Lawrence Welk Show, so, just get a whole bunch of different ones here. This one doesn't say how long it is on here. But bonus features, you get dress sketches, photo gallery, Green Day, off-air performance featuring Will Ferrell, of course. And, yeah, that's basically what it looks like inside. So, those are the three Will Ferrell compilations. Then, next one we have up here is The Best of Phil Hartman. Really funny guy. Rest in peace. Uh, this one is the longest one so far, 84 minutes. Dress rehearsal, photo gallery outtakes, and audition. And that's basically what it looks like inside. I don't think I really need to show you guys what's inside all of these because it's pretty much all the same. Of course, we have another one here, the best of John Belushi. Once again, rest in peace. This one, 78 minutes. But for extra features, we get SNL original screen test, photo gallery, Rolling Stone article, TV appearance, and an inside look. And... Yeah, that's what it looks like inside, basically. This one is a little bit different, just how they did the cover art and everything like that. But it's it's usually, it's usually the same as the other ones that we have here. Then we have the Best of Chris Rock here. I don't believe I have all of the Best Ofs in my collection. I'm still on the hunt for a lot of them, but these are just the ones I have. This one's only 64 minutes, so it's just over an hour. Dress rehearsal, photo gallery, and outtakes. And... Yeah, that's the inside. And forgot to mention, all these are from Lionsgate and NBC Home Entertainment. So, that is the best of Chris Rock. And, of course, we have the best of Eddie Murphy here. We've got, you know, the James Brown hot tub one. Uh, extra features, additional sketch, photo gallery, and outtakes. This one's 66 minutes. And, yeah, that's what that one looks like inside. And of course, what SNL collection is complete without the best of Mike Myers? Mike Myers, of course, one of the more popular cast members. We've got, you know, Wayne's World. 
and yeah, Mike Myers. This one's 76 minutes. Then we've got Chris Kattan here, best of Chris Kattan. This one's 77 minutes, audition, photo gallery, dress rehearsal, outtakes, and TV appearances. And there's the inside of that one. And then we've got, finally, for the actor compilations, we have the best of Christopher Walken. This one's 83 minutes. We have the making of the Continental and dress rehearsal. So, of course, we got, you know, the cowbell one. You have to have that one on there. I, I can't remember if the cowbell sketch is on here or if it's on um, the Will Ferrell one. I can't remember, but there's the inside of that one. So that's it for the actor ones. Now we just got two more little compilations here. First up, we have SNL in the 80s, Lost and Found. This one is basically, I think, just all the stuff that they did in the 80s. I don't believe it's 165 minutes like it says on there. It's a lot shorter than that, but there's the inside of that one. Just got a bonus feature out on here, of course, since they... Whoa. Knocked my light over there. Sorry about that. But, yeah, that's basically all that's on that one. And then, last up here, we have the best of SNL commercial parody, hosted by Will Ferrell, of course. And there's back of that one, 84 minutes. And we've got 10 bonus parodies on this one. But, yeah, that is about it for the SNL collection. So now we're going to get on... Bleh, now we are going to get on to the music titles that I have in my collection. Okay, now time to get on to the music section of my miscellaneous collection here. Some of these are concerts. Actually, I think only a couple of these are concerts. And then the other ones are just kind of music video compilations and that. So we'll get started right off the bat here. First one we got is ACDC Let There Be Rock, which I believe is a documentary feature about them. This is their 1979 Paris concert film. So, on here, we've got 13 classic songs. We've got Live Wire, Shot Down in Flames, Hell Ain't a Bad Place to Be, Sin City, Walk All Over You, Bad Boy Boogie, The Jack, Highway to Hell, Girls Got Rhythm, High Voltage, Whole Lot of Rosie, Rocker, and Let There Be Rock. And, yeah, just basically a really neat one. I got this one at Walmart for, I think, only like five bucks. So, really good deal there. And I really like how they did the disc as well. Just basically their logo. And that's it. But... Definitely a very neat one to add to your collection. It's also digitally remastered for its 30th anniversary of the landmark ACDC concert film. So that is ACDC Let There Be Rock. And I believe that is the only like little documentary music feature that I have in my collection. So now the next three here are music video compilations. So we'll get started here with Weird Al Yankovic, the Ultimate Video Collection. Of course this has all of his videos on here, you know, Fat, Amish Paradise, Smells Like Nirvana, Jurassic Park, Dare to Be Stupid, Eat It, Like a Surgeon, Money for Nothing, UHF, uh, The Saga Begins. So you've got a whole bunch of his videos on here. Of course, not his newer ones or anything like that, but yeah, you get most of them. And actually, we get an insert here, which basically just talks about all of the all the videos on here and we just have you know just what song it parodies and everything like that like of course fat parodies bad and eat it parodies beat it and yeah it's a it's a really neat little dvd here they're all of course on youtube but you know it's really nice to have these dvds just so you can see all of the different um you know music videos and that so that is the ultimate weird Al yankovic the ultimate video collection now, next up here, we've got a couple of Michael Jackson ones. So, first one we have here is History on Film Volume 2. I do not yet have Volume 1. I'm still on the lookout for that one. But, they, we have a little sticker here. It says, includes, on, includes Blood on the Dance Floor remix, the 1995 Grammy video of the year, Scream, Earth Song, You're Not Alone, They Don't Care About Us, and much more. But, of course, it does talk about all of them that are on here. So, we have Billie Jean, Motown, 25 Yesterday, tw uh, Today, and Forever. Beat It, Smooth Criminal, Thriller, and Earth Song. So, you know, just basically all of his different music videos and that. This one comes on a double-sided disc, so side one is all of this stuff right here. 
And then side two is from Scream 2, Brace Yourself. So this disc right here is has all of that on there. So that is History on Film, Volume 2. So basically just a collection of his music videos. And then we've got one of the more popular ones here. We have Michael Jackson number ones. And this one basically is Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Rock With You, Billie Jean, Beat It, Thriller, Bad, The Way You Make Me Feel, Men in the Mirror, Smooth Criminal, Dirty Diana, Black or White, Blood on the Dance Floor, You Rock My World, Earth Song. So this one is basically just all of his more popular stuff, I guess you could say. And there's the inside there, so just gives a little bit of info about all of the different videos and everything like that. And really like that plain white or red disc art. So that is Michael Jackson, number ones. Really neat DVD. Of course, like I said with Weird Al Yankovic there, all of these videos are on YouTube, but it's really nice to also have them on DVD as well. So Michael Jackson, number ones. And then of course, really happy to have this next one in my collection and you know, what music collection is complete without this DVD in it. Live Aid. Of course, you have to have Live Aid in your collection. If you don't have Live Aid or the Live Aid DVD in your collection, please go find it. It is an amazing DVD release. Of course, July 13th, 1985 is when this happened. And it is a really thick box that, as you can tell right there. And there's just a whole bunch of different artists here, like Bob Dylan, David Bowie, Mick Jagger, U2. You know, how could you forget Queen, of course, the greatest live performance of all time. Paul McCartney, Madonna, Elton John, The Who, Beach Boys, Neil Young, Sting, Brian Adams, Tina Turner, Dire Straits, George Michael. It just goes on and on and on, and it is 10 hours long. 10 hours for all of this, and actually, on the inside here, we have some really nice artwork there. Really interesting pictures as well. And we have one of the posters there, and it is a big monster of a set. We have discs one and two, and then we have three and four. So, of course, it's spread out across four discs. But like I said, it is a little bit hard to find, but if you do not have the Live A DVD box set in your collection, please go pick it up. It is a great, great, great set, especially with the DTS track on here. It sounds amazing on home theater systems, especially Queen. Queen is the performance that I've watched the most on here. So yeah, Live Aid. And then next one we got here, another influential finger, er, figure from Live Aid, David Bowie. This is the David Bowie, a reality tour. This one is just in like a little cardboard packaging here. And yeah, there's the inside and everything like that. It's a really neat set. I haven't watched this, so I haven't, I can't really talk about this one too much. This next one here is more of like a short feature. I just put it in the music section just because it's a musical and that is Dr. Horrible Sing Along Blog starring Neil Patrick Harris and Nathan Fillion. It's a film directed by Joss Whedon. And uh, this one seems pretty interesting. I haven't watched this one yet, but it's only 42 minutes long, so I might get around to watching it here soon. And it's got over 90 minutes of bonus material. And, yeah, there's the inside right there. So, yeah, Dr. Horrible sing-along blog. Like I said, I just put it in my uh, music collection because it is a musical. And then last one here, I probably won't talk about too much since I don't really know a whole lot about it. But it is Animusic 2. And this one is just kind of like little music tracks. But it's set to, like, robots doing stuff and that. Like, they're... Like this, they're playing little drums on their bodies or whatever, and there's like another thing, gyro drums. Yeah, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah. I th it might be on YouTube, if you guys want to check this out, go right ahead, but yeah, Any Music 2. So that is about it for my music collections, now we're gonna get on to, I believe, multi-feature sets next. Alright guys, now we're going to move on to my multi-feature sets, and we've got quite a few here. I won't spend too much time on all of these, so we'll get started right away. First one up is the four film favorites Richard Pryor collection, this including Grease Lightning, Moving, The Mac, and Uptown Saturday Night. I believe I 
I didn't get this one too long ago, but, you know, yeah. This one's just got four classic Richard Pryor movies on here. But, yeah, this one's spread out across two discs. So you have Moving and Grease Lightning on one disc, and then you have The Mac and Uptown Saturday Night on the other. But, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Can't talk too much about that one. Then we have another double feature set here. This one is Fever Pitch and Taxi. Taxi being the English language remake of the French movie, I believe. Because there there is a French movie that is that has the same name as this, and it's called Taxi. But I, I believe it's a remake. But this one is just spread across two discs. So Fever Pitch has, has its own disc, and then Taxi has its own disc. But yeah, it's just a little multi-feature set right there. This next one I know nothing about, so if you guys have seen any of these ones, which I highly doubt it, then clue me in on these ones. But this is the Action 4 Pack Volume 4 from Phase 4 Films. This one's got Attack on Darfur, Garrison, Rampage, and Valley of Angels. Rampage I have heard the most of, and I still want to get around to watching Rampage as well. But yeah, that's basically what it looks like this one. It's only on one disc, so you have all four movies on one disc. But, yeah, haven't heard of any of the other ones, except, like I said, Rampage. But, yeah. And then we have, we go into classic horror right here. We have the Bela Lugosi collection, or the franchise collection. And if we take a look on the back here, we've got five movies on here. We have Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Black Cat, The Raven, The Invisible Ray, and Black Friday. And these ones are all like super short. I don't know how long Black Friday is, but these ones like an hour and one minute, an hour and six minutes, hour and one minute, hour and 19 minutes. So these are all super short and I believe they just, yeah, they just come on one disc. So you've got, I think, three, movie, or three movies on one side and then you have two on the other, I believe. But yeah, it's a really interesting set right here. But yeah. This is the Bella Lugosi collection. I think I got this one a little while ago, so can't really say too much about that one. Then we have the American Movie Musicals collection. This has West Side Story, Fiddler on the Roof, and Guys and Dolls. So just some old musicals right there. They all come on three discs, so I've got that one. That one did come sealed as well. Then we have one that I got free from the reuse. We have the Romantic Comedy Collection, 4 Movie Marathon. We have Kissing a Fool, Heart and Souls, The Matchmaker, and Playing for Keeps. And that's what the back looks like there. So we've got two movies on my desk. We have Kissing a Fool and Heart and Souls. And then on the other one, we have The Matchmaker and Playing for Keeps. And I believe most of these are... Playing for keep or no, I thought some of these were in full screen, but I guess not. They're all in widescreen. Then we have a universal double feature here. We have the, I guess, the Van Damme double feature. We have Heart Target and Sun Death. Heart Target I have seen. Heart Target is a great movie, actually. Sun Death I have not seen yet. But this one, both of them come on one disc, or both of them come on their own disc. So Heart Target has its own disc, and then Sun Death has its own disc. So... Yeah, there's that one. Like I said, Hard Target is a really good movie. And the next one here, we have an MGM double feature. We have, I guess, Tim Conway ones. We have The Long Shot, and they went that away and that away. I got this one at a sale, I believe. And this one comes on a flipper disc, so you have one. I think it's on the, yeah, the they went that away and that away side. Other side is The Long Shots, but there's that one. Then we have the Bronson Triple Threat Collection. This one's got Death Wish 2, Death Wish 3, and Death Wish 4, The Crackdown. You're probably wondering why Death Wish isn't on here, like, you know, the first one. And that's because the first Death Wish is owned by Paramount. This is a release by 20th Century Fox and MGM. So, of course, it wouldn't come on here without having to work out some rights issues and that. But there's Death Wish 2, 3, and 4. And also, Death Wish 5 isn't on here. It's owned by a different studio. I can't remember which one, though. But, yeah, Bronson Triple Threat Collection. Then we've got a Paramount Triple Feature. Here we go. Here's Death Wish, the original one. And in addition to that, we have Escape from Alcatraz and Uncommon Valor. And this one comes on 
three discs. Each one has their own disc. So we have Death Wish, Escape from Alcatraz, and Uncommon Valor on the boring gray discs. But there's that one. And then the last one here, you know nothing about these ones, so clue me in in the comments down below if you've seen this one, and that is the double feature set of Omega Doom and Blind Fury. This one is a Sony double feature, I guess, of Rucker Hauer movies. But there's the inside there. We've got, I believe, yeah, it's on the Blind Fury side right now, the other side is the Omega Doom side. But there's that one. Alright, next, next up is, I believe, the TV movie collection. Alright, now on to the TV movies and other miscellaneous movies that I have in my collection. So, first one here I got a little while ago, and I don't know anything about this one, except for a few things, but I still haven't got around to checking it out yet, and that is Reefer Madness, the special addiction. See what they did there? Instead of addition, they put addiction. But, yeah, restored and in color for the first time. I believe this is a propaganda movie about weed. But that's all I know about it. And this is from, this is a Fox release, but it's from Off Color Films. I believe they probably just did the restoration for it. Since this is a movie from 1938. But, yeah, there it is. Yeah, of course, like I said, it is a propaganda movie about how you shouldn't use weed. But, yeah, we've got the scene selection right here, which isn't really anything too special. But, you know... I'm really happy to have this one in my collection because I don't see this one anywhere. But, yeah. Reefer Madness. Next one we got up here is Baraka. I believe this is in the same vein as like the Poa Kotsi, Neka Kotsi movies and that. It's just a collection of stuff from around the world without any dialogue or anything like that. They're supposed to be really beautiful movies. They probably look really good on TVs and that, but... Yeah, this one's got a few features on here. It's from a new 70mm film transfer, and it's got a behind-the-scenes featurette. But inside here, it's from a company called TVR Films, or TVA Films. And we've got our little booklet right here, just basically where they went all around the world and that, and what they showed. But, um, yeah, Baraka. And then next one up here is one that I think everybody should have in their collection just because of how much money it's worth. And that is the Star Wars Ewok Adventures double feature featuring Caravan of Courage and the Battle for Endor. These were two TV movies about the Ewoks that aired, I believe, around the same time as when Return of the Jedi came out. Which is when the Ewoks were basically at their height of popularity. And I think they made Caravan of Courage first and then the Battle for Endor so in 1984, 1985, but yeah, like I said, everybody should have this in their collection, whether it's really rare or not. If you guys see this one, pick it up. I believe it is still worth, as I think about it, like a hundred bucks online or something like that. But it's still got the chapter index and everything like that, and it's on the Battle for Endor side right now, and this side is Caravan of Courage, and yeah. Like I said, everybody should have this in their collection. These next few ones, or the last few for this pile here, I know nothing about these ones, but... First one up here, we have Descending Angel. This one stars George C. Scott, Diane Lane, and the ever-popular Eric Roberts. That's known for being in about 150 movies each year. But this is from an HBO... Or this is from HBO Video, and this is an HBO movie. And... That's what it looks like inside. It's complete and everything. And always check these HBO video ones when you go out shopping or thrifting or anything like that. Because they could be worth money. So, yeah. Descending Angel. Then we have Flight 93. Not United 93. Flight 93. This one is another one about, you know, United 93. Or Flight 93 that... Unfortunately crashed on 9-11, uh, so rest in peace to all those that were on that flight, and yeah, so Flight 93, not too much to say about that one. And then next up, or finally, we have Father and Scout starring Bob Saget. I have no idea what to say about this one other than the fact that you don't see this one a whole lot, and you know, you have to pick it up because, you know, it's quite uncommon, but yeah. 
that is about it for this little pile right here. All right, guys, now on to my little pile of Kevin Smith stuff. So we've only got a few things in this pile, so without further ado, we'll just get started right away here. The newest addition to my or to this little collection right here is Stanley's Mutants, Monstrous, and Marvels. This, of course, starring Kevin Smith as the host. And it's just basically Stanley talking to Kevin Smith about just how he created all these comics and everything like that. These have two features on here. It's got Creating Spider-Man and Here Come the Heroes. And it's got a lot of bonus features on there as well. But there's the inside and everything like that. Then we've got some of his little stand-up ones here where he's basically just answering questions and that and just telling stories. So the first one we got here is one of his newer ones. This is Too Fat for 40 and this one is from Shout Factory. This one is one of those little, he has little stand-up things. This one is 3 hours and 20 minutes long and it's got quite a few bonus features which are split up across two discs. So that is Too Fat for 40. And then the last three here are his Evening with Kevin Smith ones. So we have an Evening with Kevin Smith. Hopefully that doesn't fall. We have an Evening with Kevin Smith 2, Evening Harder. And finally we have, of course, yeah, all these fall. Evening with Kevin Smith 2 and a 3 Evening with Kevin Smith. So if these, if these will stay here, which they won't. So we have the first one here, an Evening with Kevin Smith. This one is spread out across two discs here. It's just him basically going to different colleges and schools and that and just answering questions and telling stories. And this one, 128 minutes for disc one and 97 minutes for disc two. Then we have an evening, an evening with Kevin Smith 2, Evening Harder. This one's got a really shiny, nice cover right there. This one is 239 minutes, so just under four hours long. And... Disc 1 has his Toronto stand-up concert, and Disc 2 has his London stand-up concert. And then the last one here, we have the Three Evening with Kevin Smith. This being the two-disc special edition. And this one is 3 hours and 42 minutes. So, there is that one, over 5 hours of uncensored material. And this one is spread out across two discs. So the first disc is 2 hours and 6 minutes, and the, and the last one is an hour and 36 minutes. So that is that, and yeah, that basically does it for my little Kevin Smith collection. So now the last section here is just stuff that I couldn't really categorize, so we'll just end off on that. Alright guys, now on to the very last section of my miscellaneous DVD collection, and this is basically stuff that I just couldn't really, you know, categorize or anything like that. These, these don't really fit into any category. So I'll just go ahead and show them to you guys right now. First one up here is Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy Uncensored. Of course, this is just a little collection of shorts that Seth MacFarlane did. I think they're online shorts or something like that. They're nothing really too special, though. They're not like, you know, Family Guy episodes or an American Dad episodes or anything like that. They're just little short features that were put out online. And, yeah, they basically decided to release them all on DVD. And I believe this whole feature is on YouTube. So if you guys wanted to check out Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy, then you can check it out on YouTube. Or you can buy it on DVD or Blu-ray. And then this next one here is Gollum. I believe this came with a super special edition of The Two Towers on DVD. And this one is just basically talking about, like... A little collectible Gollum figure. It's only like 20 minutes long, so it's not really, you know, worth getting your collection. Except for this really cool Creating Gollum book right here. I'll just flip through some of it here. This is basically how they did it with Andy Circus and that, and the motion capture. And it's overall, it's a really cool book. It's almost like it's written on parchment paper, even though you know it's not. But yeah, there you go. So that is Gollum. Just basically talking about Gollum, I guess. And then we have America's Funniest Home Videos, AFE Looks at Kids and Animals. I should probably put this one in my TV show collection, but I just decided to put it in here for the time being. And there it is inside. AFE, you know, debatable quality, but yeah, it's not really funny, maybe for the kids, but yeah. AFE. 
And then we have the Holiday TV Comedy Collection. This one just has five holiday episodes from five TV shows. So we have The Office, 30 Rock, House, Monk, and Psych. And that's about it. And it's a three-hour compilation disc. And that's what it looks like inside. Not too much to say about that one. Other than the fact that, yes, it does have a couple of TV show episodes. And then the last last but not least, we have The Amazing Screw-On Head, which apparently was created by Mike Mignola, which was the creator of Hellboy. And you can tell that this is his art style as well. And I believe this was supposed to kickstart a TV show, but they only put out one episode of this, and it never caught on. So, of course, they never did anything with this one. And it just remains a 20-minute long pilot episode. And they have a little collector's album right here that's just full of concept art. So, yeah, the amazing screw on head. Anyway, though, guys, that is about it. That concludes my miscellaneous DVD collection. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. A link for that will be down below in the description of this video. Anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.